Welcome to the lair of the Batty Boffin. Hi there Batty fans, it's time for a little bit more GCSE exam practice with the Batty Boffin. And today, as always, we're helped with Batilda. Now, if you saw the last video, Batilda was doing a prototype for a new type of sweet called an Olop. She has perfected it now and is packaging it up and selling it. So the packs she decided to sell it in are come in a tube here which is 4 centimetres in diameter and 10 centimetres long. So that's one tube of olops. Now, to make them look more nice, she's decided to put them, each of those tubes, into groups of four and put them in a big tube. So this is one big tube with four of those in it. So for part A, please, could you calculate the radius of this big cardboard tube. Right, to help us work that out, I've marked in the centres of the four small circles. The radius is two, which means that here we've got right angle triangle with sides of four. So a quick little bit of Pythagoras here. I'm going to speed this up because I'm sure you know how to do this. Okay, so we've got root 32 for this diagonal, which cancels down by a little bit of thirds. You can either split it into 4 root 8 or 16 root 2. 16 2 is better, which gives us root 16, 4 times root 2. If you're not sure what I'm doing with that, check out some of the other Batty Boffin videos where we look about manipulating thirds, thirds being these square root formats, okay? I'm going to assume you're okay with that. So we've got 4 root 2 for that distance between the two centres. Of course, that is the centre of our actual big cardboard tube. So, from this to here is half of that. So, what do we call that? We'll call that big R, I think. The radius of the whole thing is this distance here, half of one of those. So, that's a 2 root 2 plus that little radius there plus 2. So, 2 plus 2 root 2. That's the answer to part A. Right, we're going to do one of the things where we go black, we come back up again, and we'll look at part B. Right, welcome back. I've marked on a couple of radii for you. In green, little r is the radius of the tube of olops, and in red, the capital R is the radius of the containing cardboard tube. So for this, I'd like you please to calculate how much wasted space is there in the big cardboard tube, leaving our answer, please, in third form and simplifying as much as possible. Okay, off you go with that. Right, to help us work that out, I've written in green the radius of the small tube of olops and in red the radius of the big cardboard tube that we worked out in part A. So to work out the missing volume, what we're going to do is work out what the wasted area is in the cross section, then multiply it by its length. And we're going to start off by working out the area of the large cardboard tube. Here it goes. So we've got pi times the radius squared. And the radius is 2 plus 2 root 2, and that's got to be squared. Okay, a little bit of quadratic multiplying out here. I'm going to write it out as two separate brackets, then I'm going to do it by that foil or dragon claws method. If you're not sure what I'm doing, check out some of the other batty boffin videos where I go over it rather more slowly. Okay, that's multiplied out the quadratic, the first two, the outside two, the inside two, and the last two. Okay, this simplifies a bit on here. We've got pi multiplied by. Now, uh, I'm going to do these two bits. First of all, we've got four root twos plus another four root twos, so that's eight root twos. Now, two times root two squared. Okay, so that's two squared, which is four. And root 2 squared. Root 2 squared is 2. So that's another 2 in there. So that term actually makes 8 altogether. So we've got a 4 plus an 8. That's plus a 12. OK. Um, can we simplify that? Mm. No, nope, I think that's about as good as that one gets. So that is the area of the big circle. OK, I'm going to wipe down the board and put that and then we're going to work out the little ones as well.
Right, so there's the area of the cardboard tube given in the red, and then we just need to take away the four Olop tubes, which is dead easy. It's four lots of pi times the little r, which in this case is two squared, which works out to be a 16 pi there. So when I combine those two, um, I can take pi outside the brackets. So let's just do that there. That comes out to pi multiplied by 8 root 2 plus 12 minus 16, which is a pi multiplied by 8 root 2 minus 4. Uh, now we can take a 4 outside the brackets if we want to there. Uh, what I'm also going to do is multiply by 10 because of course we want the wasted volume, not the cross-sectional area. So taking a 4 outside the brackets and multiplying by 10, we're going to get a 40 pi and that's going to be a 2 root 2 minus 1 in there. Okay, so um, that's your answer in cm cubed. Uh, you could, if you wanted to, uh, multiply that out and call that an 80 pi root 2 uh, minus 40 pi. So you can do that if you want, that way or the other way is fine, as long as you've got one term that's got a root 2 in it and one term that hasn't got a root 2. Um, if you wanted that in decimals, let's just work out what that is. We've got a 2 times root 2. Um, take away 1 is that multiplied by 40 is that and multiplied by pi gives you 229 and a bit uh, 230 cm cubed but for this question we wanted the answers in third form okay i hope you had some fun with that i will see you next time batty fans <laughs> <laughs>